It's time for today's kid weather question. On Facebook, Jessica Sperry writes us and she says, my eight-year-old wants to know how hurricanes form. Well, for this to occur, we need a checklist of ingredients that all need to be in place. Those tropical ingredients. Think of it as a recipe. If you don't have one ingredient, it's very hard to get the overall product to be something that you want to try, right? It's not going to taste too good. Well, kind of very different in terms of hurricanes, but this is what you need. A cluster of thunderstorms to start things off. We need a seed. That seed will grow eventually into a tropical storm or a hurricane. Low wind shear warm ocean waters, and lots of moist air. It's a tropical system, right? You need that moist, humid air. Out there in the Atlantic is where we'd find that cluster of thunderstorms to develop. We have the tropical Atlantic out through this region here, the Caribbean, and then the Gulf of Mexico is typically where we look for these to start occurring and growing. So let's talk about wind shear, what you need with that. So hurricanes are vertically built systems. They go from the surface all the way up through the cloud base, right? And they are healthy thunderstorms that grow very, very tall. Now, wind shear is the change in wind speed and wind direction as you get higher up. If for some reason the wind gets stronger the higher up you go, those thunderstorms get blown apart and essentially the storms start to fall apart. So if we have high wind shear, it's not conducive for a tropical storm or hurricane to develop. Of course, we also need those very warm ocean waters if at least 80 degrees. Now that's very, very warm water. Why? Well, it's more evaporation, more humidity and more energy available for these storms to use and grow a little bit stronger. 81, 82, 83, 84 degree temperatures, even better. That's more and more energy for these storms to use. And on top of that, the humid air, the moist air that we talked about that needs to be in place too. If we have dry air, it effectively chokes off the development of a hurricane or a tropical storm as it continues to grow in strength. So that's today's kid weather question. If you have one or if your kids are curious about something weather-wise, you can always Get a hold of us. Send them my way via email, tpandagius at 13newsnow.com or on social media. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram.